Yes, I've already seen. You, you, it, it contains ter program terminating bugs, but we got f Fire Pikmin, we got Diablo Pikmin, we got all the Pikmin. One thing to note, even if it doesn't say you need Poison Pikmin, there still might be treasures hidden underground. Just note that. If it says there are no poison... Uh, so we're on the Citadel of Spider Sub Level 1. It might say, oh, there are no poison hazards, but there might still be treasures hidden underground, so you may still need White Pikmin if you want to clear the cave. So I would recommend bringing White Pikmin into every cave, if at all possible. And I think this actually might be one of those caves. Cool. Nectar that we don't need. This is definitely still one of those. Okay, ooh! It's the little leaf bug. Very, very easy to kill. I don't think the leaf bug can do anything to you. Maybe he can make you lose some of your flowers, but he can't actually defeat you. He can't kill your Pikmin. Okay, Sheer Wakes. Ugh, wow, camera, you just tried to screw me over right there. Ugh. Sheer Wakes are kind of annoying, actually. They can pop up out of nowhere and. They can snap you. Like, it's not fun. Oh boy, a tomato. Ooh, that poor leaf bug. Don't worry, I will help you go to the afterlife. Carry the tomato back. I don't care for tomatoes myself, but I do like money. Another spicy spray for free. I'm sorry, another two spicy sprays for free. I love it. Forty pokos. Yeah, we're, the treasures are worth a lot less now. The love nugget. Since when does a tomato symbolize love? People used to think tomatoes would kill you. Ulmore. All right, Louie. Mm -mm -mm. Finger licking good. <laughs> oh, I love that glitch. This is why you don't have to feel bad about burning through your spicy sprays. <laughs> They're pretty easy to get more of. It's really great when that happens for bitter sprays. <laughs> Citadel of Spiders, sub-level 2. Citadel of Spiders is kind of the last easy dungeon. There's another dungeon afterwards that's like, it's not too bad, but there's like a couple of tough parts. And then the rest are like pretty nasty. All right, this is where we get the fire hazards. Oh boy, and we got our first instance of Dweevils. And is that it? Oh, that's a yellow Wally Wog. It looked green from afar. I'm like, that's not a yellow Wally Wog, is it? No, it was. Okay, I don't like the fact that you're just hanging out waiting for me to destroy that fire geyser, or to try to destroy the fire geyser before you crush me. So, let's back up. Maybe go a different route. That Wally Wog is just everywhere, man. There we go. Oh! How is it- He literally was dead for a long time, and then he still managed to jump in the air. That's- that's dumb. Oh, there's- there's multiple Wally Wogs. 
That makes sense. Okay, the, the, the red spiders can't do anything to us right now. Unless we go out of our way to attack them, so... One of those reasons I hate the freaking Wallywogs, man. Like... Yeah, so that's what the Dweevils do. They basically run around, and then if they see something that your Pikmin can pick up, they'll pick it up. But they're pretty harmless. They won't actually attack you unless you attack them. Okay, that's already extinguished. All right. I'm surprised they haven't picked up the lips. The lipstick might be buried in the ground. That might be part of it. You can actually destroy the fire geysers with any Pikmin, but if they try destroying the fire geysers... <laughs> okay, that's funny. Normally you're supposed to destroy the Dweevils with the same color Pikmin that the Dweevils are, because like red Dweevils can spew you with fire. But again, you're able to put out fire by whistling, so... I prefer using purple Pikmin to just stun him. There's a rubber ducky head just hanging out. That's cool. Not creepy at all. Some of the treasures in this game are weird, man. Oh no, the lipstick was not buried in the ground. Alright, rubber ducky head. Probably the best treasure in the game. <laughs> I'm watching you, quack. The Paradoxical Enigma. <laughs> I love that treasure name. Quack. Bottle cap. Ooh, Royal Crown RC Cola. The creative inspiration. I'm not a huge cola man myself. But I can appreciate what it is. Bada boom, finally we got lipstick. Don't see the appeal of it myself. Lip service. That's actually pretty close to what it actually is. Hold on, how come I, how come whenever my Pikmin turn to flow to leaf Pikmin, it's always the purples? Alright. Well, let's just go deeper. I think this next floor is where we start encountering a lot of those electric hazards. Citadel of Spiders. And trust me, if you don't have yellow Pikmin to take on the electric hazards, oof. Yusa and Big Doo Doo. Uh huh, yep, so. Well, swooping snitch bugs are back. But those electric bugs over there are anode, be are anode beetles, and uh, they're not fun to deal with if you don't have yellow pigment. Because again, electricity is instant death if you're not a yellow pigment, so... This is why I decided to bring a whopping 35 yellows. Well, one of the reasons. Now, they can't lock on the way that purple pigments can. At least they won't die. There we go. And once again, yellow Pikmin are not as strong as red Pikmin, so they are actually physically quite weak. As you can see, two anode beetles decide to, uh use their electric fan at the same time, then they'll make an electric fence between the two. Any Pikmin touching that electric fence that's not yellow will die instantly. So I definitely want to take these guys out.
And naturally, Olimar and Louie will take damage from these guys as well, if they electrocute themselves. So that's the old adage, slow and steady wins the race and all that. Actually, still a bunch of ways that we haven't gone yet. Hopefully, there aren't any more anode beetles around here. Otherwise, well, to call in the troops. All right, here we go. Bring all the corpses back. All of them. <laughs> that yellow Pikmin was buried by the swooping snitch bug for so long that he turned into a bud Pikmin. Wow. Sunluck water chestnuts sliced and peeled. Patience tester. <laughs> water chestnuts are weird, man. Like, they're so bizarre. I still don't really know what the heck they are. <laughs> but I do know they're weird. <laughs> they, have, they, have, they have a texture unlike anything else I've ever experienced. And a taste unlike it. You literally, like... I can't describe them, like, you just, you have to experience them for yourself to really figure them out. Whoa! Oh, this is a flower where if you throw a Pikmin in, it'll pop out a bunch of Pikmin of the given color. So it's basically a way of getting more Pikmin in the dungeons. But because we entered with 100 Pikmin, there's no point in doing that. Oh, that's rude. This is this is giving you a sneak peek at the sadism that the developers have later on. You can enter just a part of the dungeon, then boom, an enemy pops out of nowhere. We're lucky this time that it was a swooping snitch bug who can't kill us. Trust me, later on it'll be things just like, oh, a bomb dropped from the ceiling and you died. Like I'm not joking, like Later, later dungeons, the best thing to do is, like, disband all your Pikmin, have one of your captains just move around, trigger all these stupid booby traps, and then go back to get the Pikmin. It's so dumb. Alright, we got this nice little scallop shell here. A little bump. A hundred Pocos. The memorial shell. Oh. Is there still another thing that was... Oh, there we go. I knew there was a bug on its way as well. Alright, delve deeper. Whee! Citadel of Spiders, sub-level 4. Ooh, I saw all those fire geysers. Do-do-do-do-do-do... Okay! Ugh. 
That was close. So that was a water dumple, and they can eat your Pikmin really quickly, so... I only really lucked out because I had 100 Pikmin that could swarm him all at once, but otherwise, you need to throw stuff on his head. Because, trust me, those guys can eat you so fast. Way faster than things like Bulblaxes. Or Bulborbs. Okay, and I see you over there. That that up there is a Hermit Cromad. And he can just kind of dash into you and swipe your Pikmin. We gotta kill him too. It's only fair. Oh, and he dropped a Bonbon! How delicious! I love Bonbons. Mmm, la Oh, that looks, that looks delicious. I want to eat it. Only 15 Pocos. The king of sweets. If it's the king of sweets, then pay me a little bit more for it. Alright, now there's a lot of fire hazards around, so let's, let's work to take those out. I don't like that Hermit Cromad just staring at me. I also don't like how I can't really see down here. Mm. These mazes are getting really dark and, uh... Now it's... Hi there, Mr. Ha Mr. Cromad. I don't really want to bother you today. Do 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 do. Oh crab apples! There's a water dumple. Kill him. That would have been terrible. Just to break down the gate, then just oh. That would have been really bad. This is the Citadel of Spiders. What are these aquatic enemies doing around here? They're not even bugs. They aren't even real bears. <laughs> Alright. There's another one of these, uh... Candy Pop Buds over here, so... I'm gonna make some more white Pikmin, and I'm using red Pikmin, because they're... Red Pikmin are arguably the worst Pikmin in the game. The fire hazards really aren't that big of a deal to break down without them. And while they have extra attack power, they don't have anywhere near the attack power of purple Pikmin, so they just kind of slip between the cracks. Whereas, like, white Pikmin are incredibly fast and can, like, are poison resistant, which you need. No. No. Didn't want to use the Spitter Spray on him, but I felt like I had no choice. Wow, that one purple Pikmin took all of the nectar for himself. <sighs> that stupid per that leaf purple Pikmin, man, like, he was too slow, so he got snatched up by him. I had to use the Bitter Spray in order to save his life. Didn't want to do it, because Bitter Sprays are valuable, and Hermit Cromads are fairly easy to deal with out them, but you do what you gotta do. Aw, a dog locket. The time capsule. <laughs> you get a locket, you put a photo of your dog in it. Oh, there's still more treasure. Fascinating. Is it buried somewhere? Huh. Well, I'll follow the radar. Oh, it's probably in this pipe. That's it.
All right, well, that was a bit of a frightening floor, but there we go. <laughs> Another treasure. Bowser matches! Flame of Tomorrow, Bowser Creative Brand. <laughs> it still has a match in it. Telephone 555 Troopas. <laughs> That's amazing. Cool, cool. Last treasure for that floor. Woo woo! Saving. Do not touch the memory card. Okay, game has been saved. Naturally, Citadel of Spiders, sub level 5. Is this the big one? This is the big one! Alrighty. I have a hunch I'm gonna fail at this boss fight. Maybe more than once. Alright, what you wanna do for this boss, separate your Pikmin? You wanna just bring your yellows. And you wanna have not too many of them, but a good amount of them. I think 35 is right about the sweet spot. I'm also gonna leave you guys behind. Because I want to trigger the boss here. Boom! It's the boss BD Long Legs. What's annoying about him is that, uh... His weak point is his head, which is kind of out of reach. And he can stomp on you with his feet. But Yellow Pikmin you can throw high up enough so that way they can just land on his head. So you just kind of want to keep your distance away from his feet because they can stomp on you. And he can move pretty quick. Or his, like, his, his feet can move a large distance in a short amount of time. Toss them on there and then whistle them off before he can shake you off. And yeah, just rinse and repeat. If you take the fight a little bit slowly, he's not too bad. He's also not too bad, provided your guys don't run and attack his feet. Because they, your Pikmin will try to attack his feet, and that won't damage them, and then they'll probably get stomped. But there we go. And he rusts into nothing. And look at that key! Sweet victory! That giant insect's body has crumpled to dust! I am quite relieved to know I won't have to store such an enormous bug. Analyzing soil samples. Anomaly detected. What's that glittering widget? That's the key that we've been looking for. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Very simple key, and it's called the key. And that's the same key that you get in a Super Mario 2 and Mario vs. Donkey Kong, so that's pretty cool. This object seems familiar. I will combine it with the President's parallel, parallel Dimension controller. He has one? Alert! Sensors indicate a massive dimensional shift at a distant location. I'm receiving a message from a far-flung dimension, displaying the message now. Challenge mode can now be accessed from the title screen. It appears to be total gibberish. Hopefully the message has reached its intended recipient. I will name this apparently worthless device the key. Now we get challenge mode, which is really tough. And who knows, maybe I'll try to do that no depths as well. No promises, though. You actually do get something if you can do that no depths, though. And yeah, don't leave without getting this thing that's buried up here. Bada beam! It's a diamond! A diamond in the rough. I love the giant spider web in this, uh, 
the like Coliseum area. Mmm, <sighs> diamond. Diamond is worth the same as a pop cap. Makes sense. The regal diamond. But I it's about as good as the seven up emblem. Just like in real life. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is one of those caves where, like, if you went in too far, you can, like, just completely ignore the boss and be like, I'm just going straight to the geyser. Yeah, there's the geyser. Actually, I want to check. Oh, yep, yep, there is an option to just give up and escape in here. Okay, so I can use caves as temporary save points throughout the day. That's nice. Alright, escape to the surface with our Pikmin. Another dungeon done. The key, the king of sweets, wrinkle diamond, time capsule, lip service, paradoxical enigma, flame of tomorrow, love nugget, memorial shell, creative inspiration, <laughs> patience tester, and seventy-eight dollars from beasts. Cave complete. Eleven treasures out of eleven. The caves are definitely getting bigger, and they're definitely getting tougher. And we still ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Trust me. Back to Perplexing Pool. Forty percent of debt recovered. Cool. All right, let's put our purple Pikmin back, and let's put our white Pikmin back. Now we have twenty white Pikmin, and let's put our red Pikmin back. <laughs> I just want the yellow pigment, because there are quite a few electric fences that we need to break down. Come on out, my pretties! Most of this level is still submerged in water, so we can't do a whole lot till we get blue pigment. But, for the time being... Well, well... It's amazing how one yellow Pikmin weighs more than Olmar and Louie put together, but we can still throw the Pikmin effortlessly. Alright, you're all flower Pikmin, that's great! Alright, there's an electric fence over here. Hmm. So an electric fence over there, but if I... Yeah, I can get back up. There is, however, a frog over here. He's minding his own business for now. But I wonder how long that will last. Yeah, we can break down this electric fence, and there is another hole over there. Alright, Louie, I'm gonna leave you over here. I'm really gonna try to lure this guy away. Mm. Yes. I want to lure the Wally Wog away, so he's not gonna crush the purple, uh, the yellow pigment. Ouch. Okay, there we go. He's far enough away now that he's not gonna bother the pigment. I hope. Alright, cool. There's another cave. I don't feel like doing it today, though. Interesting, my odor detectors are reacting. A strong scent wafts from that hole. I am a machine, so raiding senses is beyond sense is beyond me, but your faces tell me all I need to know. You are both drooling. I wish just once I could feel what it is like to drool. 
That's my favorite dungeon right here. This is Glutton's Kitchen. Only electrical hazards, but trust me, we want to go in with purple Pikmin and white Pikmin. We're not going in there, but that is my favorite dungeon. Glutton's Kitchen. It's fantastic. We'll come back to Glutton's Kitchen another day. Nope. Nope. You're not drowning on me today. <laughs> not today, Zerg. get out fire pigment so we can pluck some more bitter berries. <laughs> to the rescue. Oh man, we got to break this again. Well, no, that's actually okay. That means the stupid land leeches aren't going to be eating them. Until that's broken. Boom. Alright, I guess we can farm more bitter berries. Uh, but I don't want to do any more dungeons today. <laughs> Even though we got the time in game to do the dungeon. I don't feel like doing it today. Although, oh, what I think we'll do. We'll farm some more bitter berries. We'll enter Glutton's Kitchen. But then we'll end the stream. Because that way we won't have to come back to... I want to do Glutton's Kitchen before I go back to Awakening Wood. Because it's an easier dungeon than what we have in Awakening Wood. So I'll, I'll, I'll enter it, and then we'll finish the stream then and there. Because I have been streaming for a while. And this has actually been a very fun stream. I'm thoroughly enjoying this series. Ooh, yeah, another bitter spray. I think I'll wait for the to get one more bitter spray, then we can enter Glutton's Kitchen. Because there's definitely one floor of Glutton's Kitchen we're, we're just almost certain we're going to need a bitter spray for. Those of you who've played it before will probably know what I'm talking about. There's a, quite a nasty enemy on one of the sub-levels. It's not even the boss. It's just a regular old enemy. But he nasty. You gonna grow more berries for me? Hey, boo-boo, I got a craving for a picnic basket. With some uh, bitter berries, that would be nice. Please. God, you can do it. <laughs> there we go. I knew you could do it for me. This will actually kind of give me, like, just barely enough time to get into Glutton's Kitchen, because we do still have to do that platform puzzle again to get to Glutton's Kitchen. And we also will have to remember next time that we have a... a Pikmin who's holding that down. There we go. More bitter berries. 
Hip hip hooray. That's the best place in the game to farm bitter uh, sprays as well. Yeah, it's actually going to be close, whether we can get to Glutton's Kitchen in time. Like, it's going to be cutting it down to the wire. Bring our white Pikmin. Bring our pick purple Pikmin. Will we seriously be going in with... Yep, we're going in with 98. All right. <laughs> well, we'll be going in with 97, actually. Because we need one Pikmin to stay behind to send us up the platform. Good enough. Crap. No, no. That's cutting it too close. And we lost two Pikmin somewhere. Really, you two? Really? Guess we're not going to Glutton's Kitchen today after all. Got to spend another day just going to Glutton's Kitchen and then I guess grinding up on some more bitter sprays. No, you know what? That's okay. I can accept that. Bada bee. Okay, yeah, I'm... Wow, that bull... What the heck? That fiery bullwax means business. Good lord. It is the morning report. We got a lot of stuff today. Almost a thousand pokos. So remember, our reds went down by five, but our whites went up by five, because five reds turned into five whites. Still no deaths. Day six. I just took a call from my loan agent. He has the scariest voice I've ever heard. While well, you two are dawdling about my life aids, my friend. Get to work, slackers. Hey, it's not my fault that you made the mother of all oopsies by going to a loan shark instead of a bank. Not that there's much of a difference. I mean, what? <laughs> all right. So that was our first stream of Pikmin 2: No Deaths, and I I consider that to be a very successful stream. We only had to reset a couple of times, and we've made it a good ways for the game. Like, in terms of our debt, we are almost halfway through the game. Having said that, we're definitely going to need multiple more streams to get 100%, because... Oh boy, 100% is going to be really, really tough. So, thank you all for joining in. This is definitely a fun series, uh, fun start to a series. I'm definitely looking forward to continuing it in the future. I think this will be my new Saturday series. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturdays. I will be streaming this. And if I'm not, I will let you know in advance. So, that'll be cool. I will probably be, p be playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with Shaggy tonight. So, you can tune into his stream if you want there. I don't stream it myself, but he does. So, that unless that doesn't happen, that's going to be a lot of fun as well. Thank you all so much for watching. This was just awesome hanging out with you guys and playing an awesome game. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, a great rest of your day, and God bless.